welcome beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well, it's a little bit a messy background because I'm kind of uh, fixing a little bit of, I don't know if you can see, a present for my sister down there. Uh, it's actually our birthday tomorrow, the September the 12th. And it's the September the 11th when I filmed this. But I'm here today to try and review some new and old products that I haven't used. So if you want to see how that's going to work, then please keep on watching. I want to start to show you the first thing that I'm using today for the first time. It's actually these clips here. I got this from Makeup, Mecca Makeup and get four of these. I have them in black too. They're very cute. I really love them. You cannot put away the hair. They're so they're not soft, real they don't feel heavy in the hair. I really really like them. So they're very, very cute. Cute, I like it. Then I also bought from Makeup Maker these earrings. I don't know if you can see the different colors of the stones. Cute, that one also too. I bought this, um, let me show you. This is the makeup makeup mecha jewelry box. Very small, very cute jewelry box where I have all of the earrings. Now I bought all of these earrings from Makeup Mecca, a couple of other earrings that I have. These are huge, but I kind of put them here where I have the mirror and kind of close it like this. And I also bought this necklace from Makeup Mecca and also this cute kind of necklace chain that I'm going to wear. So I thought it would be fun to actually change some jewelry in my videos and I love jewelry. Um, and I love, you know, buying cheap jewelry and switch sometimes around when I kind of feel like it. Okay, for the skin that I've been using these couple of weeks that I really, really like, also something that I actually saw, I think it was Tati that talked about this. This is the Caudel line. I don't know if I pronounce this right. One of Perfect Essence Concentrated bright Brightening Glycolic Essence. I don't know if I pronounce this right but this is the product that i've been using lately and i love it it says here that apply morning and evening before your serum and cl on cleansed skin with a cotton pad or the tip of your fingers face and neck avoid the eye contour area and i don't know but this really made my this is my skin without any makeup or moisturizer i kind of put some on my fingers and just tap around really like it it's been doing kind of wonders to my skin my skin looks more healthy glowy um, very soft too so i really like it i don't use cotton pads i don't know why i don't like using i know why i don't like using cotton pads with these kind of serums or waters or essence because i feel like the cotton pads kind of takes a little bit too much of the product. I love using my fingers because it goes in my hands, make my hands soft and beautiful, but also on my face. I can feel how much I have it on my face. I just love using my hands for that. I've been also loving this sel uh, Selfless by Hiram, Hiram I know, uh, Daily Barrier Support Moisturizer that I've used day and night. I don't know from, I think it was Michaela on TikTok that actually showed this product and talked about it and I've been loving it. My skin loves it and I have combination skin. So I don't know if you've tried this. It doesn't really have any so kind of like grass scent, but it's not strong. It sinks into the skin. I use it as a moisturizer. Sinks into the skin beautifully. Love, love, love feeling of it. Feels very, very nice. For the eyes, I've been usually using this Ziaya Lifting Solution, Lifting Serum Eye and Lip Area. And I've been really, really liking it. I love this brand and I have plenty of products from them that I'll be using, that I've been loving. Uh, and I can show you that in another video. But I actually also bought this Peter Thomas Root Instant Firm Eye Tightener. I don't know, it's nothing, it's not something that I really, really need because I do have bags, but it's not, you know, dripping down. But I still like using this. 
to smooth my under eyes. So I'm going to put some on it. And you're not going to see big difference like you've seen in other videos. Like I said, I, you can see that I don't have those big bags. I'm 37. And I have plenty of under eye wrinkles that I don't really, really like. Of course, they're there and it's actually not something that should bother me. But if I can make them smoother and less visible, of course, I will take that chance uh, with products, not doing surgery and anything like that. But it instantly gives me more, makes it more tighter. It, it gives me that nice cooling feeling that actually better and less puffy. So I've been liking that product. I don't use it every day. I'm going to use, I use it today just so you can see me using it in a video, but I, I do like it, but I'm, I'm not, I'm, it's not, I think there are other people that maybe need, have more use of it and you can see more dip, big difference but I still like using Peter Thomas product and try them out. We moisturized, we did everything. Now we're going to prime. I've been using this and I think my couple of videos, this is the Eye Sing eyeshadow base from Glam Light and I really like it. I've been using it on my videos, in my videos before and it's nothing really new new, but it's new to me. And on Monday, I'm going to get my box from Valerie. We do this box swap every year uh, on her birthday and on my birthday. This time, I, unfortunately, the one that she sent me kind of took a little bit longer. Sorry, I'm not flicking you off, guys. I'm just trying to apply the base. And it was supposed to be delivered yesterday, Friday, the, the 10th. And it was a little bit delayed, so it's going to come here on Monday. So I'm going to film an unboxing video and also another try out, try on or try out video where I try the product that she sent me and I can't wait. Tomorrow on my birthday I'm going to go to my sister's house and we are going to do another like a box swap too. We did give each other some um, wish lists that we wanted to use, uh, wish list with the product that we wanted and um, yeah I just feel like I'm excited. Let me just say, I'm excited about that. Okay, I'm going to set my base because I always set my base, but I am going to set my base with this Makeup Mecca Hello Pretty Powder Foundation. I love this, this matte version. I love this foundation. It gives me coverage, a lot, almost full coverage, and it stays on the whole day, and I really, really enjoy this foundation. They release the Luminous or Glow version of it and I did try it two times like a foundation. It looks also really nice. It looks it gives me gives me the same coverage. The problem is that I don't really like glowy glowy foundations, luminous foundations. I'm used to more mattifying foundations. This stays on my face. It that I do get a little bit oily but it's still that healthy glow. It's just something that I don't really like because I'm very oily and I don't like looking very glowy on my face. On Yeah, my face. I don't like my face being very glowy. So I do use this now as a finishing powder on top and I've been loving it because it's very, it gives you a little bit extra coverage, but also makes it a little bit healthier glow, but not as much as it would be if I just use this because I did use it, love it. It's just, I don't like myself. I do love it. I love the coverage. I love how it stays put on my face. How it doesn't move, but I still don't like that glowy, glowy look. I know if you understood me, but I'm going to go with this one. If you understood what I said, but I just talk a little bit too much. It's been like two weeks since I filmed and the videos that you've seen were pre-filmed and I still had two videos pre-filmed like uh, over a month back and I'm going to edit them and of course have them on my channel but I've been a little bit busy with daily life and family life so I haven't been able to film and edit my videos but I'm here today I'm here today okay now we prom my now we prom the eyelids I'm going in with the new Pat McGrath Hytopian Dream Palette Ooh, I love this outside packaging and this I've used this two times so it has my fingerprints everywhere this is a dream come true palette 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palette, and I'm going to use it today. So, I love Pat McGrath. It's a wonderful brand. Expensive, but the quality is there. I'm going to use my uh, Cash Beauty brushes, and I'm going to use this makeup makeup brush cleanser or thing. I'm going to clean my brushes because I need to wash my brush. I'm going to go in with, um, I do want to go in with purple today. So I'm going to go in with this shade here and have that all over the, all over the crease. This palette is just beautiful. And I'm bringing it very high because I have hooded eyes and I do want this shade to be visible. You see how pigmented and beautiful that is? Then I'm going to go and deep up the look with this shade here. It's a beautiful shade. I love, love this palette. And if you want me to go into deep with this palette and talk about every shade and swatch them and, you know, create more looks, let me know down below if you want to see that. I'll definitely do so. It took it a while for me to get it, so I haven't been able to put out, you know, more couple of other makeup looks with this palette and talk about more so there are plenty of videos with this palette right now so that's why i'm not creating a video just for this palette but if you want to see that let me know i also got this uh, pat mcgrath lab intensive intensify i can't pronounce it but it's like a base that will intensify the shades and i used it once this is an amazing product, amazing. And it doesn't rub or take off the makeup that you have or the, what it's called, the eyeshadow that you have under it. It just applies beautifully on the eyelid. It doesn't create a thick texture or doesn't remove any shade. Just be careful to not press too much up. So I'm going to go in with this shade here in the center with my finger of course look look at this what i really want to go in is actually this purple and i'm going to go in with my finger and oh my god look at this shade and apply this on top yeah, there is some fallout, but Ooh, wow, I love this. And I love what it does to this shade under it, this bronzy shade. So I do get um, plenty of fallout here, but my tip to you is actually that you use the, what it's called, the eyeshadow before you go in with your creams. I applied the eye cream under it, so everything is stuck, so I'm going to go in with... I had to remove some of the eye cream. This is Peter Thomas Ruth, Skin to Die For. Now, if you watched all of my videos or the video where I reviewed this product, you know probably that I hated this product. I hated it. It My skin didn't like this primer and I tried it a couple of times. It just looked terrible but the other day i was like let's just try it i mean people really love this product what is this fuss about it it's not working on my skin i tried a couple of times and i was at home and i was like yeah well let's go let's go in and see if why it doesn't work let's try it again because i didn't want to get rid of it rid of it and guys my just my skin loved it I don't know if it was the wrong season or if my skin changed. Changes, of course the skin changes, but maybe something, something changed and my skin really liked it. So I'm happy with it. Really happy with it. Love it. Going in with this Tarte Pore Primer. Let's just say the pores haven't been my friends these couple of weeks. 
For the foundation, I'm going to go into this e.l.f. Camo CC Cream and I have it in shade Light 210. So I've used this before and I really like it. So we are going to go in. This is a really, really nice product. Uh, maybe a little bit deeper than I... I could go with a lighter shade. This puff of sponge is from Makeup Mecca. It's a, one of the new sponges and I really love how pretty this one is. I think this is a little bit dark. I'm going to go in with another shade. I have a lighter shade too. I'm going to take it out. This is light 210 and it's a little bit too dark for my skin tone right now. We are 120. And this is probably going to be too light, but maybe mixing these two together will create something. Yeah. Ooh. Well, ooh, yeah. This is too light. But it works together with this shade. And for the concealer, I'm going to go with a new concealer from Makeup Mecca. This is the Conceal and Care. This is in shade beige. And it's like a lipstick. I love this concealer. It's really creamy. It's creamy and it feels oily. But what I've been liking about this is that actually it doesn't show my lines. It doesn't make me look dry under my eyes. And I have dry, dry under eyes. My T-zone is very oily, but for some reason my under eyes are... Just take a mirror. I'm trying to take a mirror. Uh, my under eyes are dry. Dry, dry, dry. My face looks snatched. I'm going to set this and I'm going to set everything with the powder I've been obsessed with and I used it before, many times on my channel. Is the Jaclyn Hill. This is the brightening pink and it's what I love to have my, set my, set my, what's called, set my under eyes with. This sponge is lovely. I'll definitely buy more. I love the sponge. And I do want to kind of write up my under eyes a little bit. So I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill, this palette. This is the lightest palette. And I'm going to kind of mix these two shades, lighter shade up here for my under eyes, just to brighten it up a little bit. So it doesn't look that dark. What I want to do now, it's actually to go in with this foundation, with this foundation that we got from, that I have from Makeup Mecca. And I do want to, I have two shades, darker and a lighter one. I think I want to go in with this darker donut shade. Let's see that. I'm going to use a big fluffy brush. This is also from <laughs> Makeup Mecca powder brush. You've seen me use this hundred of times. I'm just going to, yes, go over like a setting to give me more coverage, but also give me that healthier glow, but not, you know, overkill. Okay, I don't know what happened here on my um, cheeks, on my on the eyes. Okay, I don't know what happened here. But can you see how heavy this looks? Look! Okay, I'm going to remove this foundation and reapply the foundation again. And I'm going to actually use this concealer under the foundation and then apply the foundation. I think using a plenty of this concealer, maybe with this foundation, they don't really match. This has a little bit of the oil in it. And maybe I've used this before and I love it, but for some reason it kind of cakes up here and I don't think it really loves, love this part. So I'm going to remove it and I'll be back when I apply the foundation again. Okay, so I reapplied the foundation or CC cream out, mixed both of the shades. I applied a little bit too much. Wasted a little bit too much, but I'm going in with my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer that I got from my friend Valerie. This is a little bit light. 
I, like I said, I think that concealer didn't really work, want to work with this foundation, but it does work with other foundation foundations. It's just something, I don't know, maybe it's too oily and this foundation is, or see, I keep calling it foundation. It's not as creamy. I think that could be a problem. Look how much foundation I applied. Oh my God. Yeah, well, Let's see. And because this is light, I'm not going to use the brightening, the other brightening palette. I'm just going to set this with powder. I didn't remove my foundation on my forehead though, because it looked good. I just reapplied like under my eyes and the rest of the face, but not my forehead. That I left on. Just going to set everything. I'm going to put a lot of powder because mattifying, why not? And I think I'm going to go with the lighter shades cupcake. With the same brush I used before. Um, I don't know what take away the excess of that other powder. It looks good. I'm going to finish the eye and we are going to use the two shades that we had before these two, now these two mattes, this one and this, under the eyes, and I'm going to go in with another small fluffy brush. This is eyeshadow brush. Go in with that lighter shade first. I did reply the eye cream and face cream and the serum before I went in with the same primers that we used before when I was reapplying everything. And I'm going to go another smaller brush from uh, Cash Beauty number one, I think, or 10. 10. Okay, 10. This small, and I'm going to go into this shade here and have that here to brighten up and under my eyebrows, we didn't fill our eyebrows, that we is the next to do. So I'm also going to go in this shade here and apply that also there with the same brush, just a little bit. Oh, I love that. Need to fix our eyebrows. For the eyebrows, I'm going to go in with my NYX Professional Micro Brow Pencil, a Nude Stick Brow Boost Set Gel. Okay, I'm going to clean up fluffy brush, just a fluffy brush, like this flat brush. And I'm going to use this shimmery topper that we have, take it on a brush and set it with this spray, Urban Decay. And I do want to just go on top of the eye again. Oh yes. Okay, I love it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. So the eyes are done. We are going to go in with the bronzer. Now I got a new bronzer. This is from a brand Sandstone that I haven't used before. This is Infinity Summer Bronzer 32 Summer Glow. And it's a smaller size. I got this in my last month's subscription box from Goodie Box that I haven't actually filmed. Unfortunately, I didn't film that. I was busy and I didn't film that. So I'm going to use my bronze brush. This is from Cash Beauty number one. Just swirl it here in this. Just take away some of powder from earlier bronzers. And I'm going to put this brush. Oh, it picks up a lot of product. I have no idea how pigmented this is, what brand it is. This could be a disaster, but. It says glowy. I'm not into glowy bronzers, but it blends nice. It gives me like a soft sheen. I love the shade of the bronzer. Well, I think it looks nice. I mean, it doesn't look patchy. I don't know if you can see anything doesn't look patchy. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. I love it. Hmm, I like it. 
I haven't tried anything else from this spread, so this is exciting. I love this bronzer. Very cute. I'm going to go into cheek, 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 cheek. Scott Best Palette. Mm. And I've been loving all of these shades. And I've been really loving the orange and this pink one. It's just such a wonderful shade. So I'm going to use this pink today. And it's very, very bright now, you can see. Very bright, but it really works. Now, so I'm going to put... It's pigmented. I think it's going to go nice with this eyeshadow. Love this blush. Mm, I went in with plenty of blush and I love blushy face. So I don't care if it looks too much. Okay, now we are going to go in with a highlighter that I'm obsessed with. It's, it's a highlighter that's out of this world. This is the Pat McGrath's. This is the Divine Rose. I just love this highlight. I use it every day. I use it with a makeup look that it doesn't go with, the makeup look that it goes with, warm, bronzy. It doesn't matter what kind of makeup look I use. I always go in with this bronze highlighter. I have plenty of highlighters that I love, but it's something about this that it just makes me too happy. I'm actually going to try this for the first time. This is the Kaya Cosmetic That Extra Hour Long Lasting Setting Spray. Now Kaya Cosmetic did release uh, like a hydrating and luminous setting spray. There are two different. One is, high, one is hydrating and the other one is luminous um, setting sprays and they are very popular. I know I sent those to my friend Valerie and she really really enjoyed those setting sprays. Now I haven't tried them myself because I don't I love mattifying setting sprays. Like I said, mattifying foundation, mattifying setting spray, just my jam, my cup of tea. So I was very happy when the cat came out with this new set setting spray. And I have no idea how this is going to work, but we are going to use it today. I'm kind of I said that it's not see-through bottle because I love that more. Okay. Ooh, this is look at this. This pump is interesting. Okay. Oh, wow, this mist. Mm, it has a scent. It has a sweet, fresh scent. Not strong, not overpowering, but it is there. Oh, I love. Mm, I love this setting spray. Oh, I love how it makes my skin look very smooth. It kind of reminds me of Lancome's that I'm obsessed with. I have two bottles in that drawer over there. I love that setting spray, but I don't use it because I'm trying to use up this and the other one that I have somewhere here. So I do have opened oh, look my face. I love it. Let's go with mascara and then we are going to go with lips. I don't have no idea what I'm going to do with the lips. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Okay, let's go in with this. Oh my God, I feel like I'm all over the place today. Sorry guys, it's been a while since I've filmed and I'm very excited to be here and film again with you. Okay, so we are going to use mascara. I am going to try for the first time, this is the, the Creme Shop Wisp Me Away Mascara. It's waterproof and black dramatic effect. It's actually exactly what I need for this makeup look and for the day today. And this is a mascara that my friend Valerie, Valerie sent to me and I can't wait to try it. And I have other products that she sent to me last time that I haven't. I'm so dramatic, it says here on the packaging. Well, it's what I like. Oh my God, look at this packaging. So cute. It looks like a liquid lipstick. And before we apply mascara, I do want to go in in my waterline with a pen. So I do want to go in with this, is the Kaya Cosmetic Eye Brightener that I really love in my waterline. I need to go very close to my to my mirror for, to do this. I want my eyes to be more open today, so that's why I'm going. Okay, let's go in with this mascara. Oh, I'm excited, waterproof. Really hope it's... Okay, it's kind of hard to take out. Oh, it looks dry. I hope it didn't dry out. 
this is this is very dry. Wait, maybe I should shake it a little bit. I don't know. It looks really dry. Okay, now maybe. Hmm. Okay, this looks very dry. I think this mascara dried out probably because it's not doing anything. Oh no! I don't remember opening this, so I don't think I opened it and made it dry. But this, no, it's not going in at all, unfortunately. It's so dry, guys. I don't know if you can see. But it's... It's dry. And I'm really pressing hard on my hand. So, I definitely, unfortunately, can't use this. But I'll see if I have another one that she sent to me. Uh, I'm going to go and see if we can find another another one. Oh, it really stays there, this small one. <laughs> I'm so sad, I really wanted to try it. Okay, good to see there. So I could choose between Milani's and this is Joa's Beauty, but I really enjoy Joa Beauty products that Valerie sent to me. We don't have it here. So I'm going to in with this uh, Joyce Beauty New Lash Up Rising Volumizing and Lightening Mascara. It looks, looks so good. So 90% saw volume, 93% saw lifting la lashes, and 87% saw no fallout, which is something I'm really looking for. So this is also waterproof. Let's open this. This packaging is also very, very cute. Look! Okay, let's see. Yeah, this one is more liquidy, so this could definitely work. I'm so sad that that one, the other one didn't work, but that happens sometimes. Yes, this is definitely doing something. Oh wow, I love the brush. Oh wow, I really love what this mascara does to my eyelashes. Key is to go in with a second coat before it dries down completely, but it's still but this is the second coat and it looks so good okay let's go in with the third coat and see what it can do to my lashes i'm loving this mascara and if it's waterproof transfer proof well, valerie you need to buy more of this let's see how this is going to work yeah i love what the third coat did to my lashes i'm leaving it there because it's going to then start clumping up too much but i love this this is the third coat guys i love 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 how my lashes look okay let's go and pick the other eye this is the three coats of this mascara and i love how it looks and i feel like this is definitely going to be a mascara that will stay on the whole day i really enjoyed this for the first impression with this mascara i'm kind of sad that i didn't actually that i couldn't try the cream one but that sometimes happened, happened to me a couple of times when I bought the mascaras, but I love this. So I'm going to go in with the lips, 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 lips. And I think, oh, now this is Rebecca Stella's lip liner number two. But it's like a my lips but better. And this is the only pencil that I can use to all liner lips. It don't look crazy. Go in with the um, butter buttercup from um, Huda Beauty. Love this lipstick. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. I really enjoy how everything kind of married together and how everything looks on my face. Like I said, this is a product that I bought for not so long ago, but also a product that I got or had that I didn't try out. And I'm really happy with the results. I really love this eyeshadow, I really love the mascara, the lipstick, the bronze is beautiful, the foundation is amazing. I also really love the setting spray. I think I'm overall happy with all of the products that I used today a lot. Some of you probably try a couple of these products, maybe not, but let me know down below if you try yourself some of these products, 
What do you think about them? What do you think about this makeup look? Is there something that kind of intrigue you to try out? Do you want me to try out something else? Please let me know down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.